Alrighty then. Uh, my God. There we go. Yeah, so I'm definitely heard. Okay then. Um, today, as you can barely see, it was a very blurry image. We are continuing on with the Imperial Dramon uh, model kit. Uh, here we are. Oh, I just go by he, him. I'm doing quite well. Risk, how are you doing today? I believe this. And then we'll just lower it. Alrighty, there we go, uh, that light should be a lot better, don't need the, actually, good chance I will need the paintbrush, and a glass of water, I forgot to grab one, okay, I'll take the paintbrush out, but I won't grab the glass of water unless we actually need it today, which I presume we will, because we are quite close to the end, um, we are working on the hind legs today, Let's see if I can get it. Yeah, I just wish I could zoom out slightly more, but also I want uh, more quality with it. Whatever. Uh, this is a series of things we need. Uh, we need some parts from PC nowhere from where I could... Oh, wait, no, it's down here. So a part from PC will be needed. First, we're just going to do all the time... All the, like, times two bits. So it's stuff you need to make two of. Uh, B is purely the hand, so I'm just actually going to quickly do B now, just to get it out of the way. I bet primary computers are going to take over control of all critical vehicle functions. Yeah. Anyway. That's because it's not a Gundam. So I got into the Digimon mod pack in Minecraft. And I have been just playing it so much. I'm pretty sure I got uh, RSI on my right hand. Because that's where the mouth, like the hand I use for the mouse. So I've just been binge playing it because I have nothing better to do. Well, I could be, like, watching shows in my watch list, but, you know, who watches shows and gets through their list? Um, so I had, like, a farm that was absolutely ginormous and produced heaps of goods constantly. Yeah, so this, like, has stuff to make sure you're definitely putting it on the right hand. And then... I got impatient waiting for Wormon because I was wanting to get Imperial Dramon. Um, so I used the slash summon command. Turns out there's a custom command for summoning Digimon slash create. Because if summoned by the slash summon command and then tamed to like add it to your team, it goes into the Digibank, which just stores all of your Digimon, so you're not constantly carrying around a thousand V-Pets, which is used to store the Digimon, like, on your person. Um, it basically just acts a bit like a Pokeball, really. <laughs> what ends up happening is, if it was summoned by the slash summon command, rather than naturally spawning or slash create, your game will crash whenever you try to use the Digibank forever now. There is no fixing this issue. And then when trying to see if there was a way to like fix the issue or whatever, make another world to test out how the bug worked and all that, I accidentally deleted the world save file. 
that's not too bad. It's more than possible to, it actually is possible to recover Minecraft save files on Java Edition if you're using a PC and not a laptop like I do. Because on the PC, since you have multiple hard drives, you can activate version history. On a laptop, you only have the one hard drive. Can't use version history, therefore can't get old, like, versions of the folder that has the Minecraft world save still. So the world was broken forever and I lost it. And I wanted to start a new one, but only once um, I like start streaming more. Because the amount of time I spend on that world, it would just be good for doing streams. Following the advice on, of people online, I figured out how to restore this stuff. It's like the red marks on this are still there. It's still damaged in places. That can't be fixed. Um, but I could get a lot of the red scuff off of it. Uh, there are ways like hot water and stuff, but just using sticky tape takes it off. Same with here. All of the residue stuck in between bits gets pulled off by the sticky tape and it works like a charm. That's how I clean them now. Just use a bit of sticky tape. Yep, that's the hands all done. So I've heard this somewhere before, not like in this lo-fi thing. I've heard this lo-fi somewhere before. Eh, regardless. So I can see we've got like all the parts of like, this is clearly the bottom of a foot. This is an ankle. Like there's the part where the thing will fit plugged in here. These are like the ankles and stuff, or like the lower legs, the calves and whatnot. Um, oh yeah, I see them here and all that. All the parts that are over here. Alrighty then. Starting off, we've got to get F. Now then. F1, we're going to want three parts from it. We're going to be wanting 2015, which is this part here. It's got a circle in the middle and then two connection points. Another two pegs sort of thing. And this is F15, then we're going to want F22 and 23. 15 plugs into 22 and then gets covered over by 23. And it is what connects the part into the body. Use the tail as a lever to move this part out. Now there's, I can't show it too well. Oh, I can't show it too well. Oh wait, you can kind of, yeah, there you can see it. There's that hole, that's what the, that's what like plugs into the body. All right, this part, where is it used? Because if it's not used for a bit, then I'll just like move on to, yeah, so it's used like right at the end over here. So I can safely just move on to the next part. And once again, all parts from F. 
we're going to want 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. F doesn't go that high though. Um, wait, this is E. This is F. I put E to this. <laughs> Grab the wrong one. Um, some stuff it's saying you want the one from the other number. Either way. Eighteen goes here. Twenty is the other side's one. And it goes here. Seventeen is this large piece here. It's got these no, it's got these two holes in it. And it goes here like that. And then 19 and 21. These other parts and are the outside bits that are the parts of the leg. They seem to get attached over by something. So maybe they're not the outside part. Okay. First, this one goes on. Because it fills up one of the holes and then gets attached into by the other one. Followed by F21 plugging in. And then F19, which has a smaller peg hole, plugging into 21. To create this dual jointed part that can move. Presumably like a knee or something. Not needed for a bit, so put it to the side for now. And next up, F16. This, I'm not gonna lie, it looks a bit like a uterus diagram. You'll understand once I've cut it out better, like. That, that's just. That's just the science, like the diagram, scientific diagram used in classes to explain what that looks like. Next up, we head over to E, where we get, yep, seven and eight, these parts here. Seven goes on this side like that. And six goes this side and connects afterwards. This connects in here. Then six connects over, and I already know what this is for. So the idea is this part slide forward. It's got a connection, like a peg joint in here, and it slides up and down. And the idea behind that is that it can be used to extend or retract the back legs, which are extended and retracted depending on whether it is in dragon or fighter mode. After this, we get E21. No, E17, which is this one down here. Just a little black plate. And it's got two tiny little bits to help it lock into place and all that. Facing so that the flat bit is facing downwards, it slides up and into so making sure that this part's plugged up. You want to shove it up from below? No, plug it in from... No, not that either. Um... I 
can already tell what this part does. I just, I think I figured it out from watching, uh, from looking at that. Um, from why this one needs to be up. Uh, oh, I want to see like, sit it one side at a time. So I'm sure what I'm seeing it too. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so what happens here is there's this little flap now. So it's flat normally. You can see a tiny little rectangle here poking out. Pulling on that. That comes out. Now you can see it's a bit more than just a tiny little poke. When out, it lets you move Let you move the leg up and down. Once it's plugged in, the leg's length is locked in place. So the idea is that that ensures whatever leg got like mode it's in is locked in. Alrighty. Facing with the locking mechanism on the back like that. Get D one seven. which is this golden part, and then E13 and 14. Plastic's actually really good. It's not been any like nubs on it at all. Anywho, get right. They face down the way like so. There's a little section to make sure it doesn't move once it's plugged in. Then. Wait, no, it wants this part here. So once it's like that. Uh, not exactly sure how this connects on. Oh, I see what's going on here. I, I, I think. Yeah. So I'm just going to move this down to make it easier. When facing the correct direction, at least. No. Okay, well, I figured out how it attaches at least. It needs to be up though. Then. Facing like this. Plugs in like so. This adds this gold blade that's kind of like the knee, and this can slide down and extend in order to become fighter mode go up and when even when in oh, wait. yeah this like so it gets locked in fighter mode you can't lock it in dragon mode so you don't have to like fiddle with getting that out now once it's like this once this part is all attached to it you can just pull it down and it works anyway that's handy now, after that, we grab 
Uh, this part from earlier. Little double knee joint bad boy. And one and three. Which are these two parts. From D. This one that faces backwards, this facing this way, slots in, there's that round face on it, and it kind of slots into this part in here. Um, if it wants it, I guess, cause might not want it. Oh, there's like a black slope, or there's like there's a slope on the black part, gets covered over by the gold part. Now connect the other side on. Get it all good and clipped in. If I'm correct, this is the knee, this is the ankle, and so that can slide down when in fighter mode. And then, like, this part is the knee joint. Either way, we are now onto the foot where we need D6. And there's like a Spider mode crown there and everything, that's going to be all snazzy once we're onto that part. For now, though, that goes here. Now we go over to E. Where we get out, for most of the parts here, we get out E6. Place all the parts somewhere where they're visible. Those go together. What else? So that's six. Oh, sorry, that's seven. That's six. Here's fifteen. And then sixteen is collected and placed here facing this way now after all that go over to PC and get part C so just take that from that first row in order to make it emptied out Then we place top of the foot on. It needs to face so that the grey parts we can kind of see peeking through there. Uh, there we go. Is facing outwards with its fallen stuff. So get the tail to just adjust because this is what the foot or like the what plugs it into the leg. You can see that now much better. Now, 
these little wheel parts go on then toe go on followed by top of this part now this part has some it's like a little oh, this part has a little bit of articulation but mostly it's the toes that have articulation turn the page now we go to F where we get the last of this F runner being these two parts here making a double sided turning like peg joint And I believe that's the last part from this F runner. Yep, so throw that off to the side then. Now we connect these two parts together. One side plugs into that gray part of the foot. Uh, the two sides are different sizes, so it is like important which one you do. Then the other side plugs into the foot facing the opposite direction of like that spike. So that's gonna be on the back of the or the back of the ankle so that ankle swivel go on from here we're actually going to want to grab G where in which we find a few interesting parts I'm very much looking forward to putting the positron thingy together I've forgotten its name and you want to get G1 since we're making the right side first and then G3 and then G2 and 4 are for the left side being mirrored versions of the parts. Now we take either side and plug this part in making sure it's facing the correct direction to plug into the leg. Oh, get the whole thing there's some joints and bits and bobs so Yep, this one's got the holes to plug in. Where does... Yeah, so all this goes on. Uh, uh, Got to figure out how these go together. Oh, so you want the longer side, which is G1, facing the front. You see that there? And this part can slide up and slide down. So the idea is this is dragon mode, so that's going to be like tilted around and stuff. Then pulling all the sides up now we're in fighter mode with a much longer leg and you can just slide everything in make it dragon mode again and from here we've got this open like plug point you can see that there you're going to want to grab C and A from A we are wanting 19 And from C, actually I'll just get both of them out now, oh, the correct one for now. From C, there is six and, oh, 6 and 8, which are like three little missile things. We're wanting 9, oh, sorry it wasn't 8 and 6, it was 8 and 9. So we want 9 for the right leg and 8 for the left leg. So 
that gets plugged in. And then there's also a hole here and a peg on this, on the missile pod part. Plug those in and get little triple missile pod. See if I can re-angle the ring light. Oh yeah, hopefully that's better. Oh yeah, that's immediately better. Three missile pods that are never used by Imperial Command. And that is the right leg completed, or the right hind leg. Just quickly now, we'll get out 18, leaving one, two, and 10 as the only parts left on runner A. I'm pretty sure they're fighter mode parts. That's not too bad. So I'll put A right down the bottom and see if I need it anymore, or for a good while at least. And from C, we're getting 8, which is the other missiles, or honestly whatever these are. I, I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure this is just like a design thing, he never actually uses them for anything. Alrighty then, now to clear out this runner and all this stuff. Alrighty. Back at the start, we find F2, 15, 22, and 23. Being for the top of the leg. In so it's correctly facing outwards. Slap this on as well. And there we go. Put that aside for the time being. Now we get out a bunch of other parts starting at 17. Seriously, this, this part is just a uterus. I'm, I'm not going crazy here. And that part goes there. These parts go together and aren't used till later. And then this goes here and these are the parts used for that. Yeah, so it doesn't matter which order they go on then. That's good. on yep. goes on like this and where'd the other one go oh never took it off this is the last part of f2 so now all the f runners have been emptied We 
go. That is that part completed. That won't be needed till later. Next up, uh, I'm actually going to do the foot now because it's quicker. And then we get to the long part and then it's just clip everything together. PC C Make sure it's at the right angle when I put it in. Gonna have to adjust it with the tail after the fact, then. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Foot up by. Oh, other way around. Bond with this part. Claws. Top of this part. Uh, next up, we go to E, uh, take all the parts, oh, all the, wait, did I throw out the other E? Oh, I think I did, there's still a part in that that's needed, but, uh, this is E. One of the handles for the positron cannon thingy in the jig. That we will hopefully be making soon. If that's the fighter mode lock, we'll put that there for now. Then we get the call. Go here and here. This part gets connected onto by that. Call it the slide it up. Connect the other side on. Yep, everything is working as it should. Plug in fighter mode lock. I call it the fighter mode lock because it's meant to like lock the leg in, but it, once the other parts are on, it only locks it in when in fighter mode, not dragon mode. There we go. That's correctly in. That can't move, so it's trying to. So it's starting to push it out, and when other parts are placed on it, it gets pushed out. Hmm, because what the instruction manual shows, it doesn't actually show the peg that like is on this part that slides out is what plugs into the part that caused confusion Let's see if i can yeah see that peg here that's what plugs in so now we get d7 which is the spike that goes on the back of the ankle which like imagine an axe kick with that leg You 
kick down on a dude while having a blade on the back of your leg would be pretty effective. Note to self. Uh, and then everything's facing. Correct way. That's not the correct way. This is the correct way. I know. It's, it's not the correct way. This is the correct way. Or, oh, wait. Yeah, no, this is the correct way. Because this is the back way in which this part plugs in like so. And the whole thing gets held together by the. By the other side attaching if it would like to not keep getting dropped there we go everything's all good there that easily extends out all of and whatnot from there we get one and three from d or d2 All facing in this direction. Then clips on. Other side clips on. And it all attaches together. After that, we make the foot, which we did earlier. Turn the page, and now we just getting this part, the double joint, plugging the smaller side into the foot. Once it faces the correct way, use the tweezers to fix that up. Oh, well, that was actually very effective. Oh, yep, that's all plugged in correctly. Turn that up, plug the other side into the, oh. yep, other side nice and plugged into where it needs to be. After that, we get G2 and 4. This plugs on. I believe like so, but apparently not. Uh, okay then, so first of all. Make this all plug in the correct way round. Properly clip it in. Plug on the other side and then plug on the missile pod. That is the second leg completed and I must say it is an absolutely beautiful build. Oh, I put this on the wrong way. Um, yeah, that's going to have to come apart, isn't it? Good thing I have a part separator. It's doing a, 
Oh, need to get this off first. There we go. Oh. Now we just turn it. There we go. And back on you go. Plug the missile pod in. Boom. Gorgeous looking leg there to fix the foot. That is the second one. Now we see the back of the body, this part, actually can have this part of no hmm. no nope, not sure what it's doing in this this part down here it's saying to like spread it out a bit I'm not sure how anywho uh, next up we do the wing oh, the wings and the positron cannon is actually very quick to do once built it teaches us to make the hands, the head, and then how to move everything around in order to make him into fighter mode, including taking like the white abs sort of part, popping it off. And somehow you plug the head of the dragon on. Let me just check. What happens is, once the head's taken off, pop off the big white horn, pop off the back, and then plug the head in. There's like some extra parts on the head that help hold everything together over here. That um, also plug into the body to make sure it's in the correct spot. Then you're able to open up the mouth and all that to have like it, the positron cannon stick into it and all that. Very snazzy, I must say. I just got the horn on better than it was on earlier. There's less of a gap now. So that's how that was meant to get done. Now then. Oh, there's even like a... If you have the stand, there's like stand attachments. To plug it into the dragon body to have him flying. Now then. Uh, for the positron cannon, we'll do that first. Or oh, positron laser. I was calling it cannon the entire time. Gonna want this. We are gonna want the two E's. Then we're going to want D. Yep, we're gonna want D1. And apart from D2. Alrighty then, let's get to work. First off, get the parts from E since it's just one part and then the entire run I can get shoved off to the side and not worried about ever again. Interestingly enough, these handles use the same design as like the pegs that have been used. It's just a different size and stuff. So it's likely possible to use like these handles as like, ro sorry, I'm really bad at controlling it with this camera, uh, like rotating peg points. So, they do got like a little giraffe neck going on. There's the eye here, if it's visible. That's visible enough. 
like the eyes and the head. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, you can see the eyes, head, and big old neck. There we go. Boop. Boop. And finally, boop. Oh, yeah, here's the parts that are for the stand, I think. Yep, G8. Now then. Get out this big part. This is the main section of the cannon. This bad boy goes there. G10. Bottom of the cannon. Cannon's rounded in the main one. This one's like, oh, I think it's rounded. Anywho, uh, don't believe any more parts are needed after that. So put G back now. What you're going to want to do is take this, flip it upside down. Take. the handles, plug them in, there's that little giraffe head from earlier, uh, you can kind of see it on the reflection there, just let me get that, that, oh, there we go, you can just like put your finger on that to, in order to flip it out, but it needs the other side to hold it in place so it just falls out a whole bunch. Get the other side properly plugged in. It's got some nice designs on it. It's very sleek. And then you got the giraffe head to pull out. Oh. Got the little giraffe head part, falls out the side. Now you've got the handle. What's interesting is this one has a plug, to like plug onto something. Also a hole on the other side. It's not large enough for this to plug into, so you can't double up the laser, but it can definitely like Oh wait, no, I see what plugs into it now. Never mind. Wait, no, those plug into the front. That plug is like still available. So I'm wondering, like, that's just customizability, I guess. Uh, next up, you're gonna want D13. It is this gold part from D1. What it does is it plugs in, makes the cannon or the laser have a gold tip. Now what you're gonna want to do, go get a glass of water. Then wet and dry the parts that the decals are going on in order to properly prepare them. This paintbrush does not carry water the way it used to. So I'm not sure what's wrong with it. Well, it kind of does. Anyway, uh, and also, yeah, no, just those two points need to get cleaned up.
then we get these two red decals, the eyes in red bitter for the jewel on the crown, and those are for fighter mode. These are the last two for dragon mode. I guess either mode, really. touch one on the other side oh no had it and then it detached itself and moved a little there we go this doesn't have any expanding parts like um the actual one does because i'm pretty sure like when used in the like the dragon's mouth when it's like poked in it expands and stuff like gets a bit longer now then, the last parts are 9 and 11 from D1 and 9 from D2, leaving just the crown and hair of fighter mode's head. And from D2, there's nothing left after this 9 is taken off. Now then, with all their spike bits facing forwards, yep, definitely faces the other way around. Uh, There we go. Oh, it needs to get trimmed a little. There we go, it's cleaned up. It's Good as I can do. Get it into the right position and angle, slot it in. Now we got oh, three, uh, no, wrong way, three gold spikes that face forwards and all that on the blaster. Now for the final part of dragon mode. That is the wings. No parts from PC are needed, no parts from D are needed. Uh, no parts from G are needed. It looks like it's literally just 
C and C2 that are used for these. For now. I'll just make wing like both wings simultaneously. Six goes here facing that way. Seven. Goes on the other side. Doing the same sort of thing though. I'll just clean up seven first though. going to want five, which is a swiveling peg joint. One, which is a smaller wing. Two, which is a thing which holds two parts together. And then a little connection of three and four, with four being these little like feathery wings. And three is a swiveling peg joint. That is the entirety of that runner. Nice and emptied out. This part doesn't have any problems. Make sure it's facing the right direction as it's not symmetrical. Plug that in. Uh, this shorter side that had some wings on it. Plugs fully onto this part. Oh, sorry, I'm doing things off screen. Essentially, got a little swiveling joint here, and a hard to move one here. It's also hard to plug on. Then this part of the wing plugs in. Something's not right here. Yep, I put things on wrong. No wonder this one was too tight while the other was loose. Oh. You have to put stress marks on part of the wing to get this off. And actually start to damage it on. Dang it. Very concerned about that. Okay, I'm just going to have to actually do it just like slowly and carefully as to not snap the part. Doubt the part separator can help here.
Okay, we got it off. I can see stress line. Oh, I can kind of see the stress line left there. Stress marks left here. So like this, like this. That plugs on way easier. When this plugs on correctly, it feels way sturdier. Yeah, okay. Oof. Now, smaller. Plugs onto the other side. Gets plugged into. Uh, That is the right wing done with this part being the peg. It's got some like scaly or feathery wings before it turns into webbed wings. Now we quickly make the same for the other side and not make the same mistakes as before, hopefully. Because that could have gone horribly wrong. All right, that's the other wing done, and that means nearly every part for this build is done. We're not able to spread these parts out, but we are able to spread this wing out if we want to, but we will not be doing that right now. Now we are moving on to the head of fighter mode. There's a lot of instructions to turn from dragon to fighter mode, I must say. Now then, uh, first up, we pull out A, and there's a couple parts we need. First off, this mask-esque part, which goes there, this part, which is the back of the head. I need to move everything over so it's visible what I'm doing. This shiny blue part's the back of the head. White part is the base of the head. And it's got the stuff to be eyes on its own. Um, that's all of A done. Next up, take A10, which is the white part. And we want to water the eyes. Dry the eyes. Eye the eyes and say, based on what I can see, good quality right there. And that we attach. I'm actually going to attach the two stuff before attaching on the eyes, just to holding on to more. Um, G11. And D12. D12 is this golden hair, the luscious locks of Imperial Dragon's Fighter Mode. Then G11. This part of the head. It's the chin. 
I would explain it as. Right away. Everything in the right direction. Put stuff on. Slide the light part on. And then we've got uh, this. Plug this on, it's got some points where it can take on pegs to become the back of the head, which is a shiny blue part. Now we get out the decals. Hey Toasty, how are you doing? I'm doing quite well. It's not too late over here, so I'm not tired yet. You're feeling tired, you should probably head to bed though. Alright, there we go. Got the two oh uh, there is the two eyes on Imperial Command Fighter Mode's head. Place on his little mask. So he can take a little nap. And now he looks like Griffith from Berserk. I, I, I kind of thought the mask looked a little like Griffiths, but this is just uncanny resemblance. Uh, next up, final part from D1. And it is the crown. Seriously, I would have taken a... F I would take a photo of this. And like sent it to my friends. See if they think it looks like Griffiths, but my phone is the camera right now. So I can't exactly. Anyway, uh, make sure this is all good. Add on his very spiky crown. Wash the little jewel. With water. Oh, you got all the frith geo, did you? Is there any fun to build? Now we attach on red sparkly or shiny decal. Meant to add in the red gem. Not perfect, but got the red gem on, and with that, fighter mode's head is completed. Looks black, like the blue parts. This shiny navy blue looks black on the camera. You kind of see it here. You can see that it's like navy blue, but there's also parts that look black. So that means that every single part of the build has been made. So I'll put it together in dragon mode for now. And the next time I stream, I will be like putting everything together, posing it and all that once it has been all panel lined.
So let's start from the start. We got the body, the lower body. Those connect together via a ball joint, nice and properly. From there, uh, the neck slides in a whole bunch, connects there. And the head connects to the neck, making Imperial Drummond, oh wait, slap on the tail first. And you get Imperial Drummond worm mode. From here, you take these parts of the leg, uh, plug it all on, then plug the front leg on, like so. Do the same to the other side. That is the front legs properly attached. And I'll pose them in a sec. From there, take the back legs. Plug them into the... Part of the hind legs if they want to go in at all. They're very stiff and I understand why. It's just a little annoying. There we go, that's one down. No, it is not, it's nowhere near done. Never mind, that was in its fighter mode form. I'm nearly done. This model kit actually has a mode changing feature. So it's got a whole second form and all that. That's what I plan to pose it in once it's all panel lined. Digimon, uh, Imperial Digimon Dragon Mode turn into Imperial Drummond fighter mode, a humanoid figure that has less power output but greater control over its like power. Imperial Drummond dragon mode can only go 110% with its attacks and thus it runs out of energy and also causes way more destruction. So if it's fighting alongside allies, it's not as good since it'll hit its allies. Then onto these little plugs on the back, go the wings, and onto the final plug, uh, I wouldn't suggest the games unless like you're a Digimon fan because a lot of it relies on prior knowledge of the franchise. So that goes forwards. Alright, need to check what position the leg back legs attach on. Okay. So that goes like that, that goes like that and that. Then we bend the knee way back and bring it all forwards. The knee is double jointed, you want to bend it back on both joints. If it would like to bend back on the top joint, that would be very nice of it. Just detach 
Puff back real quick. Yep, that's how it needs to go on. There we go, got that nice and on properly. Now, see if I can do the same for the other side. First of all, move this to how that's meant to be. Do that. Now try to plug it in. See you, dude. Oh, nice, you drum. That's really cool. Yeah, so here's Dragon Mode in all of its draconic glory. As you can see, there's little holes on the bottom of the front feet for the hands of Fighter Mode. So I will see you next time, uh, hopefully, as I will be packing up for tonight. See ya.